Sagittarius, this is your December 2nd, 2022 Daily Tarot Reading. These are your Oracle cards I'm going to cut, and this is your Oracle card for today. I will read your Oracle card at the end of this read. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for December the 2nd. 2022 universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of sagittarius for december the 2nd 2022 universal energies show me what i need to see for the star sign of sagittarius for december the 2nd 2022 Show me. Happy birthday, Sag. Happy birthday. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Sagittarius, these are your cards, honey. So, Sag, you have the Page of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me you guys had some immature, premature communication, yes? Or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the page of swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the eight of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, blocked communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or you're telling me that you're blocking communication. Now, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you guys had this immature, premature communication and this is the reason why you're blocking. You can tell me that you went looking and spying and you saw something that made you want to put the block on or you saw something and you're kind of stuck as to what to do about it. Sag, you have the Eight of Swords again. You, girl, you're stuck or you're blocking. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the Eight of Swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Now, Sag, listen, you can tell me that, yes, you guys had this immature, premature communication here. And you're standing by what you say, okay? And maybe you're blocking communication. Or, Sag, you're telling me that you saw something here, okay? And it's causing you to be highly suspicious, so you're blocking this person out. Sag, you have the King of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. 
So Sag, could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Cups. Now, the King of Cups is someone with a great deal of emotions within them, but they're not outwardly expressing their emotions. They're masking their emotions or wearing a mask. Also with the King of Cups, this is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the King of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind. Losing sleep at night, worried about something. So sad, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Something is really bothering you, Sag, and you may be mastering your emotions or masking your emotions and not letting this person see you sweat. But this argument may have gotten to you. Or something that you saw has gotten to you. Sag, you have the Seven of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. Sad, you could be standoffish, shunning, and setting boundaries with this person, yes. Or you're trying to explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Clarify the Seven of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the Seven of Wands. For Sagittarius, clarify the Seven of Wands. For Sagittarius, the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This King is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So listen, Sag could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So, Sag, listen, you could be physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Now, Sag... The only reason I would see that you would want to put it behind you and move away to a place of peace and harmony together is if you're being accused here. So are you finding out or discovering that they blocked you? No. Mm -mm. Sag, listen, you may be staying off of shunning and setting boundaries with this person. You're kind of like, I just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship because you're blocking, blocking, blocking them. Sag, you have the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Sag, listen, you could be all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Clarify the Seven of Cups. For Sagittarius, clarify the Seven of Cups. For Sagittarius, clarify the Seven of Cups. For Sagittarius, it is clarified with the Knight of Pentacles. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So Sag, everything has come to a screeching halt. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Five of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something, yes. However, you can tell me what's the type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama taking place. Now, Sag, you can tell me that you're conflicted within. Yes, there's some type of confusion going on, and this is the reason why you guys are stagnant. But Sag, you could also tell me that you guys had this conflict, disagreement, argument, drama over some type of confusion, immature, premature communication, or this drama took place over lies and illusions, or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. And this is the reason why you have your wall up, you don't trust, and you're putting a block on here, Sag. Sag, this is your oracle card. And it says, criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. Accept them as they are, Sag. Oh, goodness, it's stop criticizing Sag. This is your December 2nd, 2022 Daily Tarot reading. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.